Let's begin now. Six days away from 2020. I uh, didn't really know how I was going to start this video off. I got 20 minutes. I'm seeing the timer at the bottom of my phone. So hopefully we can do this without any interruptions and uh, get through it in a timely manner. Because uh, I got a wee bit of unboxing to do right here. So <sighs> let's get this started. Um, You know, this past year, 2019, has been a very roller coaster of an experience kind of year. Um, for those of you who've been following me th throughout this entire year, you know that it's been one hell of a, a ride. I had to move forcefully due to the landlord being shady at my old house, um, basically kicking us out because we didn't want to pay $4,000 from, you know, that, that, that's a story within itself, but I'm pretty sure you know they tried to raise the rent, us, rent up on us like two to three times within the same year because this area has no rent control and it's just, it's bad. It was, it was bad. So February of this year, I was basically had to move. A lot of my family members, they moved back to the south. Me, I stayed out here. Um, and I moved in with, with my current roommates in this uh, big house that we live in now. You know, and, and even that was a roller coaster ride, man. I, I, I've been. I never thought the day would come where I would have to ask for donations the way that I did this year, but y'all came through in a, in, a, in a tight pinch, and I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all don't even understand half of the feeling that I'm putting behind that, man. I appreciate y'all so damn much for that, because um, y'all came through for your boy, and when I didn't think nobody would. Y'all really came through for me because I was like this close to being homeless, like literally this close. But <clears throat> it all worked out, man, and I'm able to maintain myself. But uh, with that being said, um, I can't help but feel like a failure in many ways. You know, um, I'm looking back on everything. <clears throat> as far as like my old YouTube channel and I'm noticing that the subscribers are going up and up now this ain't, ain't this ain't gonna be like a rant video about my views or anything like that um it's just that I'm looking back on everything that I've done and I'm looking at other videos and things like that just to, just to get like a gist of what it is I'm doing wrong because I feel like I can do so much I like I feel like I have all the right pieces to the puzzle, but it seems like no matter how I arrange the pieces to the puzzle, I can never get the full picture, you know what I mean? So it's it's one of those like confusing type of situations to where I can't really put my finger on it. It's like I have all the right pieces to, like I got a brand right here that I know that if I can get the proper exposure, it, it will get a, immense support. It's like once I get the ball rolling, it's going to roll and it's going to take off on its own. But it's just getting the ball rolling on this brand that's really getting me confused. I mean, I have everything that I can want. And I'm not blaming y'all for not buying. Y'all don't even know that it exists. It's like I don't know how to promote. And that's like a problem that I've always had. Like I, I've never been, you know, a very outlandish, rude uh, obnoxious personality. I think I'm a pretty loving guy. I, you know, I, I help whenever I can. I, you know, like I don't have any like, you know, negative videos that you guys can point out in, in, in my direction because I don't make those. Any personal problems I have, I kind of keep to myself, deal with them, and I like to bring the, you know, the fun side to you guys. You know. I feel like I can't do that, then I don't live stream or I don't upload because I don't want that negativity here. It's enough of that going on in the world as it is. I want this to be like a fun place. But even on that note, I don't feel like I've done the best that I could with that. And that's on that's my fault. Um, and so this 2020, my goal is to really get the World Warriors Collective Ball rolling 
on this and have things to show for it um, when I finally do go to these conventions and these uh, events and these gaming tournaments that I want to sign up for because I failed at doing that this year because I didn't know that a lot of things took place that I didn't know that a lot of the things that were going to take place um, I, I didn't know that a lot of the things that took place this year were going to take place for example like the move that threw me off um, having issues at my job which are pretty much over uh, damn near being homeless like I didn't have time to dedicate to this the way I wanted to because of all that nonsense that was going on so 2019 has been a very loss and reveal type of year you know what I mean and having like 1500s on our federal taxes getting taken because of an old student loan which has finally paid off you know that was I was going to use to buy a new laptop a gaming laptop so I can better provide better video quality videos and better live streams for you guys because you guys know I've been needing that I've been talking about that for a couple years now finally had the opportunity to do it and boom the government took all that shit $1,533 took it all fuck my life but you know it is what it is though but with that being said man I'm looking back on everything that I've done and even when it, when it comes to creating this logo you know I'm a big gamer you guys know that obviously uh, I, th I think I even have a, a video on my old YouTube channel ADS Play 101 where I had uh, back when I was still living in Louisiana I showed you guys my old relic of an Atari 2600 and all the cartridge cartridges I had for it you know Raiders of the Lost Ark even though that one didn't work ET, Rodeo, Activision's Rodeo, Activision's Boxing, Activision's Racing, the original Donkey Kong, Hackman, um, you name it. You know, I had everything you could probably possibly think of. You know, my, my gaming experience goes all the way back to me being like two, three years old playing the Atari 2600 and all those games, beating those games at a young age all the way up until now. So. When I came up with this logo back in 2011, it, it, it was it was still a thought. I didn't officially get it drawn up until like what a couple years ago, and I didn't officially start doing merchandise with it until last year. So, well, yeah, last year. So, or was it earlier this year? I think it was last year. But nevertheless, um, I didn't realize how much of an impact and how much meaning this had at the time I created it because. Looking back at it now, this logo and everything, even, all the way down to the colors, represents something. And I didn't realize it until I kept looking at the logo. Every time I look at it, it's like, it's symbolic. You know, the, the World Warriors Collective is basically my effort into unifying gamers from all over the world. People that play video games competitively, casually breaking down language barriers and cultural barriers that's what this is about you know when you look at the logo you see the guy with world warriors collective um as a mouth you see his two hands holding up the world this world represents the potential and opportunity because you know that's in our hands you know even when you look at the colors the colors are gray and purple you know purple is you know represents unity um you know, whether you want to look at that as blood, scripts, people of folks, you know, Democrats, Republicans, however you want to look at that, red and blue makes purple. And for what red and blue represents in America being on a political uh, stage or on, or on the level of the streets, purple represents unity, you know, and that's very important, you know, and the gray represents balance, you know, uh, so this is unity and balance that you see right here. That's why purple and gray is such a big color. And I didn't recognize this at the time I created it, but that's what this means. This means unity and balance and the world is ours. You know, we hone our skills and we um, bust our ass to in order to get better at the games and with the lessons that they teach us get better in life. So that's what being a world warrior is all about. And as a collective, we can achieve that, you know, so that's what that logo means. 
and I have everything. You guys know I've created shirts. I got bandanas right here. I got varsity jackets. All the stuff is for sale, by the way. The shirts are on teespring.com. You guys should see the, should see the teespring in the uh, video description. The bandanas and the varsity jackets. Of course, you have to hit me up through Instagram, unfortunately, in order for me to uh, in order to purchase one of these. Um, got our multiple colors of the varsity jackets right here, but you know, this is the black and white. I got gray and white, I got navy blue and white, I got a light blue and white as well, and I got a gray and white one. So, and now the latest of the World Warriors Collective merchandise that I've just recently got uh, today, which I've been waiting on it for a while, and I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak on that. Seconds. Let me put this down. Throw that off. That's the, that's the front side. That was the back side. And this is the, the, the alias that we go by Universal Battle Group, Global Fighting Unit, World War is Collective. No matter how you say it, that's what it is. So let's open this up. I want to see exactly how what we're dealing with here. Boom. And ladies and gentlemen, these are the Global Kicks, the World Warriors Collective. You see these right here? Tell me these don't look dope. Let me get these out the box real quick. Bam. So on one side, we got World's, World Warriors Collective right here. The logo right there. On the other side, World Warriors Collective, but Collective. Now these shoes are going for a hundred uh, dollars up into the original price is 130. And so this is this is another thing that you have to hit me up through Instagram. Um, but I will tell you this though, right now I am looking for a different uh, manufacturer of these uh, shoes. Only because the, the current manufacturer I work with, it takes them three weeks to get the shoes to me. Uh, I ordered these I ordered these samples on December 11th. It's December 28th. That's like three weeks worth of time, and I think that's a bit long. You know, I don't know if it's because of holidays, because I ordered other shoes from the same company, and they, um, I, 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 excuse me, I ordered other samples, and it only took like two weeks for them to get to me. I think it was only because of the holidays the reason why it took so long. But uh But yeah, this is uh my shoes right here. And I I have multiple ones. If you've been to my Instagram, then you've seen, you know, I have uh different na different nations flags from Mexico to the United Kingdom to uh I have the Union Jack, I have I have uh, Jamaica, Korea, Japan, China. You know the shoes are are in wide variety, and, and they're they're in these Chuck Taylor style of uh, designs. Cause this, I, I think, it was like the best one I could come up with. So this is what it is right here, man. World Warriors collected the shoes right here. I mean, drink this bandana over that. Mm. Right there, man. So, <clears throat> like I said, 2020, I'm really trying to get the ball rolling and trying to promote this brand and get it out there as the brand. I feel like as a as, as the fighting game community or as just a video game community as a whole, we don't have a brand that represents us, and that's what World Warriors Collective is. It's a brand that represents us as people that like to play video game I don't really like to use the term gamer I feel like it's uh, I don't know so something about that term just doesn't sit well with me but regardless I, I made this brand to represent us you know as people that like to, that, that enjoy playing video games be it professionally casually that's our thing and if you're about you know representing your brand uh, representing yourself as a gamer this is the brand that you should be buying into 
you know, these are the clothes that you should be wearing. You know what I mean? This is what, this is what you should be representing. That's what I made this for. I made this for us to try to have something because I'm not big on YouTube at all, but I feel like I have a good foundation as far as what to have for when I do get big, all, these, all the merchandise is already there. You know, if you look at other guys like Daigo, Justin Long, Smug, K Brad, all these other guys who may just be looking for sponsorships to get to the next tournament, as big as their names are in the FGC, they don't try to expand themselves beyond that. Maybe all they want to do is play video games. Me, on the other hand, when I make, make it to the FGC and make it into these tournaments and get my name out there, and it will happen, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to already have the merchandise there outside of just t-shirts and things like that i got shoes to match every t-shirt i have um i have the, the grays i got the plain black and whites i got you know what i mean just a, a variety so you guys definitely should check out my instagram if you want to uh see everything i have at world warriors collective you know same way that it's spelled out right right here you know world warriors collective check me out 2020 i'm pushing this to really be a year that world warrior collective world warriors collective not only thrives as a brand as a clothing line as a shoe line um but to get the name out there and hopefully be able to do something in these fighting game tournaments to where i can earn revenue and be able to do more entertaining things with you guys and hopefully grow this youtube channel at even bigger than the last one because the last the ADS Play 101 the original YouTube channel I had it's still growing you know I looked at it before it was at 2100 subscribers I looked at it just recently it's damn near at 2400 subscribers so people are still subbing to that channel not even knowing I don't upload to that channel anymore but I don't know man it's like For a while, I've hit this glass ceiling and I just don't know how to break it. And it bothers me that I don't know how to break it. It's like I have all the right pieces to be successful, but it's like... It's just not getting through and it bothers me so much. And I'm trying not to let it get me down because I feel like... The brand is good. And it's something that I know for a fact people can get behind. And I just want people to, you know, understand what it is I'm bringing to the table here. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to keep my head up going into 2020. And I hope, hopefully you guys continue to support me and uh, help me grow this channel into something even bigger than even what I can imagine it to be. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And, um... I'll see you guys next time and uh see you guys in 2020 so uh until then remember the motto be humble in victory be gracious in defeat but show no mercy in battle world warriors collective the world is ours gamers rule the world <laughs>